Hello, today I'd like to show you how you can get additional value from your cycling data directly from uh, the raw time series data using differential capacity analysis in Voltaic. So let's go in here and I'll search for some interesting data. Uh, we have some aftermarket uh, iPhone batteries from iFixit.com. Let's go in and just select all of those and let's start off by looking at the basic analysis uh, discharge capacity per cycle. Okay, uh, when looking at with this data, we could see the capacity versus cycle number for these uh, eight different iPhone versions that we tested. Um, they all start off uh, pretty good, and then some of them uh, operate for a long time, and then a few others uh, end up dying pretty early here. But there's no way to tell which cells are going to fail early from early performance here. So let's go in and let's look at the raw time series data uh, using the differential capacity at cycle two. Let's go in and toggle, let's look at the iPhone 5, and let's look at the iPhone 5S. And we can see here that the amount of incremental capacity going into the battery versus potential on charge here is dramatically shifted between the different versions of the iPhone, telling us that Apple uh, switched chemistries between different versions of the iPhone. Now let's go back and look specifically at the iPhone 3GS, the cell that died early. And we could see that even though the cell looks like it's doing well uh, early on in performance, it ends up uh, hitting this knee and failing early. So let's see if we could use differential capacity in cycles uh, 100 to 300 to see that the cell is going to fail before it actually does. We could see that there's a shift between cycle 100 to 300 uh, with the potential of the reaction increasing, telling us that there's a dramatic increase in internal resistance using Ohm's law, and also that there's a decrease in the height of the peaks as well, uh, telling us that there's an actual change in the chemistry of the battery. Thank you, and hope you enjoyed this webcast.